I have spent six weeks here with great enjoyment, and the kind attention I have received must make me feel the obliged. It gives me the greatest pleasure to hear that you have passed your time not disagreeably with us. Of course, from our connection with Rosings, we have the frequent means of varying the humble home scene. Our situation with regard to Lady Catherine's family is indeed the sort of extraordinary advantage and blessing which few can boast. You see how continually we are engaged there. In truth, I must acknowledge that with all the disadvantages of this humble parsonage, I should not have thought anyone abiding here in an object of compassion while they are sharers of our intimacy at Rosings. And now you have witnessed our felicity. Perhaps you may think that your friend has made a very fortunate alliance. Perhaps more so than... But on this point, it will be as well to be silent. Only let me assure you that I can, from my heart, most cordially wish you equal felicity in marriage. My dear Charlotte and I have but one mind and one way of thinking. We seem to have been designed for each other. Well, my dear sister, you will have much to tell your father and mother. Bring that one round here, Lucas. Indeed, this place will be some new from Lady Catherine's work. Oh, Lizzie, it seems but a day or two since we first came, and yet how many things have happened? A great many indeed. We have dined nine times at Rosings. Oh, how much I shall have to tell. How much I shall have to conceal. 